Hello, and welcome to another session of Surgical Pathology, Digital Slide Review and Sign Out uh, with uh, myself, Dr. Lewis Hassel. Again today, we're courtesy of the Digital Anatomic Pathology Association, a collaboration of the Digital Pathology Association and uh, Path Presenter. Our topic uh, today we have episodes, is some of the nuances of gynecologic pathology. And today we'll be talking about uh, a, a unique case, a 12-year-old girl with a history of Turner syndrome and abnormal findings on a flat film of her abdomen. Those abnormalities consisted of scattered uh, gonications um, that led to uh, ultimate surgical reactioning. So here's a, a fairly small uh, gonad from this uh, young woman. And as we can see at low power, uh, there's sort of a Swiss cheese pattern of uh, tissue out. Uh, we have a more bluish area here that looks like maybe tumor, as well as some other areas uh, around in here that investigation. Uh, what we don't see um, uh, is any sort of sexual follicles, uh, uh, any follicles developed um, in this uh, uh, so let's go down here and see um, as we begin to see here it looks as though there are calcifications that have uh, dropped out and certainly would account for the abnormality uh, on the graph to calcification uh, so these uh, areas uh, are fairly frequent in this particular neoplasm, these sorts of uh, uh, calcifications uh, amid what looks otherwise to be a uh, uh, ovarian stroma, a spindle cell uh, theca type of stroma. Uh, we do not see any uh, germ cells here, uh, no primary follicles as would be expected in a patient with uh, Turner syndrome. So moving a little bit further to uh, evaluate what's going on over here. Oops, let's go here. Uh, we can see here uh, an interesting finding of sort of a trabecular tubulo uh, corded like structure, set of structures of uh, cells with fairly bland nuclei and an inner intervening various uh, stroma uh, surrounding these uh, cells that uh, could be uh, Sertoli type cells or uh, maybe uh, uh, cells. Um, but it looks like below a tubular process. Then moving uh, to these other nodules, we see that there's, well, here perhaps we can see that uh, as remnant of this. Uh, that we were seeing is some of this calcification. So the calcifications may be remnants of these uh, uh, cells here. Then um, here's a little bit more of this, and these cells look more like uh, uh, a little bit more, uh, oh, more, alternative, more open, a little more atypical. We have some maybe associated inflammation here. And we also see here, uh, adjacent here, then that this is beginning to develop into what looks like a uh, germ cell tumor. Uh, here we see the characteristic scattered uh, amidst these uh, uh, very old eye, clear cytoplasm, and uh, features consistent with uh, dysgerminoma, or if we were in the testis with a seminoma, this is a very characteristic pattern um, of these uh, tumor cells with, uh, as we said, cords, fairly open nuclei, uh, the, uh, stippled chromatin. Uh, the unique thing here, however, of course, is, is associated with these uh, calcifications in the setting of uh, uh, cytogenetics uh, in a patient bone uh, 
uh, ovarian dysgenesis syndrome or Turner syndrome. So this is this setting of uh, overgrowth of these uh, germ cells, a uh, germinoma in the setting of a uh, gonadoblastoma. And here we see more of this uh, arising out of this uh, remnant of the uh, gonadoblastoma here as well. Here without the uh, associated lymphocytes, uh, just with the expanded uh, germ cells amidst this high uh, stroma and the associated calcifications. So this is a very nice, uh, uh, elegant example of uh, dysgerminoma rising in the setting of an um, in a patient with an ovarian dysgenesis uh, syndrome. For rest of is usually a fairly bland uh, neoplasm but it's most frequently associated with a form of gonadal disease. And often there's a loss involved, <clears throat> whether it's an insensitivity syndrome or a Turner syndrome, an XO, XY mosaic, or some other prop, uh, process. Uh, it is uh, usually not in a uh, normal, uh, cytogenetically normal individual. Um, and in up to 50% of the cases, these can result in a, a, a dysgerminoma. Uh, most of these are in patients, typically female. Uh, some may be in uh, males. Uh, now, if we were to look at uh, the... Uh, uh, looks like we're not going to load that slide. Uh, if, if we uh, think of uh, germinoma overall, we can think of uh, that as a uh, fairly common germ cell neoplasm. Uh, not all of them arise in the setting of uh, gonadoblastoma, uh, but certainly if you find a dysgerminoma, you need to be thinking about that possibility. Uh, dysgerminoma is a germ cell neoplasm. It's the most common uh, germ cell neoplasm, particularly in the uh, pediatric and young adult uh, uh, category. Here's an example of another uh, dysgerminoma, uh, this time without too many of the lymphocyte cells and a little bit different morphology to the meaning, uh, uh, neoplastic cells. We see again these fairly open chromatin pattern, uh, fairly young cells, uh, clear to a slightly contracted cytoplasm, uh, a nested pattern with a few intervening strands of vascular cording structure, um, and uh, there's a little bit more, and here you can see some of the associated lymphocytes associated with the fairly large cells, that uh, uh, confuse sometimes with carcinoma. Now, what we do want to emphasize is that uh, uh, you need to search carefully to make sure you're find, finding uh, any evidence of the germ cell tumor, that you don't have uh, evidence of uh, 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 embryonal, embryonal carcinoma or sac tumor. Uh, sometimes your serologic can help you in that. Uh, search for HCG or AFP can be helpful as a dysgerminoma will be for those uh, both serologically and immunohistochemically. A dysgerminoma you gain positively with uh, SAL4 as well as with OCT34. Uh, and because you can uh, not infrequently find CKIT mutations, they also uh, can be positive with CD117. But they'll usually be negative with uh, CD30 um, or uh, other markers of either a yolk sac tumor or um, uh, uh, choriocarcinoma. Our final sign out day on this case is uh, dysgerminoma arising in the setting of gonadoblastoma uh, in a patient with uh, an ovarian dysgenesis uh, syndrome. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us on this uh, session of uh, digital uh, slide sign out. Uh, 
Uh, we plan to continue to post food, uh, videos regularly. And if you want to make sure that you uh, see those, uh, please subscribe. Uh, or And also we welcome your comments uh, either uh, via uh, Twitter, YouTube, or other. Uh, yeah. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.